Oh, JD here, Tyrol Limus, and we are back on F1 2021 as always. And we are here today with some two five lap races online. And these are the first wet races that I have ever done on F1 2021. So why not better to start off with with Bahrain in the wet? Because that happens all the time, doesn't it? So we're going to put it on in the wet here just for a laugh and just see how this wet handling model is because i've been told it feels uh, very different so all equal cars here random grid uh put on my race setup uh, for bahrain if you join my youtube or sorry youtube member only if you become a member of my channel you'll get access to these setups by joining my members only discord but you can see we get a very good launch off the line here using exactly the same as I used in my league race. A very nice setup around here and a little bit argy-bargy, but just getting through it nicely. Little snaps of the oversteer, but colliding with a toaster, <laughs> funny enough. Uh, but we managed to navigate our way through this pretty nicely and so far, so good. But you will see, and if you can read the title, then we do come across some individuals who don't like to be overtaken which i think is a very common theme and one of these people you should look out for is this guy general jake who's just going down the inside leaving well he did leave a little bit of room there bsfn but he's a, a very very aggressive driver taking the ultra wide line that's the f1 esports sign he's taking through there and see the exit he's got because of that and going off the track as well just to get a little bit of a boost from those arrows off the track i think he's playing sonic the hedgehog rather than f1 2021 but he's managed to get himself back on track and yeah as i said he's definitely one to look out for very aggressive as we were thinking about Godaddy inside here thinking better of it in the end and i think he just cut that off anyway to be honest but one thing you've got to pay attention to is definitely trying to work out who you can do those kind of moves on early you know, sooner rather than later and that goes for league racing as well there are drivers who are going to be a lot more aggressive than others and it really should tell you when you know to take those risks but online lobbies if you make a slight bit of contact or something like we're going to here i think we're going to give him a little bit of a love tap he probably felt that and now he's decided to take it very very personal as this guy is just doing a ferrari impression so he gets a really bad exit giving me the good old squeeze doing a little bit of wheel bang going down the straight so clearly not happy really turning in on me there so we just leave well we, i was trying to push him out wide but it was a little bit unsuccessful so decide to let him have this corner not go fight him not gonna have a repeat of what i did in my league race going through there so just a little bit of a dummy to the inside and yeah it seems to be the case when you make a little bit of contact to people in these obbies that they just take it so so personal that it's just something you have to get accustomed to i'm afraid because here we're struggling with the traction so still trying to get used to these wet conditions this guy is clearly playing a different game as i said he's probably playing psych the hedgehog just weaving in and out to collect those rings or something like that see we've got absolutely chronic understeer go through here so definitely needing a little bit more time to adapt to these conditions here but we're going to try and get past him as clean as we can looks like he's letting off the throttle a little bit so he definitely wants to have a bit of fun i guess in this race here i don't know <laughs> what that entails but you can see again he gets a pretty poor exit still give a squeeze i thought he was going to squeeze me into the pits here but see a little bit more side pop bashing going down this straight here so clearly he is trying to send me somewhat of a message and you can see he tries to go down the inside here didn't quite work but he still somehow manages to stay on the track we try to get a good exit coming off this corner and you can see he's quite a bit behind so you wouldn't expect him to go for a move here but if you look at the arrow yeah just a standard dive bomb there but didn't quite work out so i thought okay that's done and dusted surely he's not gonna go to the next level but if you look through here at the mini map you'll be able to see this green blob this giant pea coming towards me and yeah 
that's how you deal with it. You just laugh it off. And he has come off worse there. And that is job done. General Jake, whatever his name is, has been assassinated. So we're going to continue. And now, hopefully, we'll get some time to get used to these conditions rather than then playing grenade throwing with <laughs> some drivers in this lobby. But those things happen. And for me, you can tell that I have a really good laugh doing this. If that was an elite race, that would be a very, very different story. But in these lobbies, as I said, like, these are the lobbies where I feel I learn the most into trying to control your emotions, have fun, but learn things at the same time. And if you can keep your composure, then I always promise people that you'll be better off in the long run here. So trying to fight this guy, he's been a little bit cleaner than General Jake was. Let's see if he's, he is going to go for a dive bomb down inside. Hopefully he's not because we are trying to deter him with this overtake button and he doesn't so fair play to him good stuff and now we can see what our pace is going to be like on these intermediate tires so you can see we've done a 1 minute 40.4 when typically I'd be lapping in the 25s 26s so a lot slower and then what it would be in a drive but you can see we're going to the purple first sister a 1.6 seconds up so that just shows how much we were faffing around in the previous app. So definitely getting used to it. And the thing I noticed with these conditions is that the false feedback just feels much lighter in these conditions. And the understeer is just absolutely insane. So really kind of like what you would expect, I guess. Uh, but it just feels very, very light with the steering. It feels like I'm kind of floating over the track but starting to get used to it. the traction is not really the issue it's just going through corners such as this you really need to use the throttle to rotate yourself around as you can see we're 3.3 seconds up now on our previous lap so you can see there's a lot of time in the tank let's see if we can do anything about the second place i don't think we'll go be able to catch mbsfn unless he has an absolutely full blowout failure on the SARS app because it's a 136.7 so 3.6 second improvement there let's see if we can go any faster once again and the next race after this is actually at Spa which is also a very good race so I would encourage you to stick around for that as well and as I mentioned at the start of this video if you want access to my real-time setups so any race setups that I'll be running uh, that I tweak and everything in advance then make sure you join my uh, YouTube membership you'll get to have access to my discord and all the channels get to talk to me on a daily basis first priority invite for lobbies such as this as well and many other benefits I hope with that and thank you to everyone who has so far as well really does mean a lot but you can see so far purple first sector really improving quite a lot he's taken inspiration i think from general jake with these eyes maybe he's trying to cool down his tires or something like that although this game doesn't offer that realis realism as of yet which i really hope they introduce a wet line in the future because that would be absolutely awesome if the game did actually do that like they do in real life that would be so so good because these lines are really should be the slowest compared to the rubber because that's where all the rubber is lying we're coming through to here we're not quite going to have enough to overtake expert island but we can see our pace was very very strong here and we come across some of it 36.2 so the pace i was very very happy of that first time in the wet at bahrain but now we arrive at spa Francochamps a track i really like and i decided to put this on because this is typically one of the hardest tracks in the wet especially going up that hill we get a very good start here but riley just gets an absolutely god tier start i don't know how on earth he has done that but going through into here we've just been pushed slightly and we've just done a very good ferrari impression with the help of a few others around us i think <laughs> with that as well but as i say just try and keep your composure if this happens to you i know so many people go mental take it personal everything but with me Maybe a few years ago, I would have 
really overreacted to something like that, but now I just try and see it as a challenge rather than something that's going to bring you down. So I'm back into P14 now after starting high up the grid and let's see where we can actually get back to running my spa setup so just running the dry setups just to see what it can do here and a similar story to Bahrain there is absolute chronic understeer but you just have to try and adapt and get used to it and one thing I've noticed about this game a lot of people have been saying as well is how white it is and how bright it is it does make it very very hard to see these conditions and also these raindrops which that's this guy I don't know where he has gone there it makes it very, very hard. As these two coming together had the reactions of a snail there. Really could have avoided that much earlier. But thankfully, damage is not on. But you'll be able to see going to Sars Chicane in particular. I remember these raindrops were just driving me absolutely insane. Which for people who don't know, you can actually turn the, these off on PC. Where you don't have this effect. Which makes it so much better visibly in the rain where you apt you're actually able to see things but i remember coming through here if you look at these raindrops i couldn't even really see anything i might even be turn one as well but you'll see it you'll know when you see it they are just really really annoying and i think it is actually going to be into this town one yeah you just can't see anything it doesn't look that bad when you're watching from here but when you're trying to concentrate and your eyes are looking at a particular area of the track it just makes it absolutely impossible but we have made our way back up into p9 though so good start not quite flat out through here you might be able to do it if you are brave enough or maybe if you're yano opmir you could properly do that but yeah we're not taking that risk on this occasion just still trying to ease ourselves into it this is only our second race in wet conditions so still just giving yourself time to adapt to it and I just want to see what my pace is like compared to the others. As you can see, there's an absolute train for the lead here. So I was sensing that there are still quite a few positions still up for grabs. Coming up behind AMS Farley, who's a good driver. Goes in my lobbies quite a lot. A very, very clean driver here. Someone who has good pace. So he's definitely got a good benchmark. And you can see the setup is working very, very well in these conditions. And I would probably sense that you could actually go up on the front wing in these conditions. That's what you could do last game as well. And I feel with the understeer, you're probably able to get away with it. Because the rear actually still feels quite stable. But coming through to here, taking a nice tight line. Making sure you don't use that curb on the exit. And ERS is very easy to harvest in these conditions. Since you are doing much more braking and lifting and coasting. It's much easier to recoup. So are we going to think about maybe going down the inside here? We were thinking about it. Are we going to go around the outside? No, we don't. We actually let him have this corner. But we're going to try and go for a little bit of a switch back as a slap bus. He's actually a very, very fast driver in these conditions. But we do pip him with a 153. So what we're going to do here, we're going to let him have this corner. And he just clears the path for me. We get two in one. Baited him into that. And two birds with one stone there. Now we're up into P7 behind deaf chicken <laughs> who are also I see quite a lot in my lobby so lap three here let's see how much faster we can go we've got a little bit more clear track up ahead of us making sure we try and avoid these curves so just trying to graze them but not mount them too much here and you can see we're not quite sure how much we're up going into this first sector let's see how much we actually catch him in this middle sector so the gap is 1.9 seconds let's see where it's going to be as this guy has had a little bit of a mare so he's resetting his car gained about two tenths in those corners let's see how much time we gain through into here do we do this nicely yes we do we actually do it very nicely you can see another two tenths going through into here i really enjoy these sequence of corners these are probably one of my favorite sequence of corners on the game but you can see he's actually pulled away ever so slightly so we actually lost a little bit of time going through into there let's see what we do do we do purple with the sector it says we do so this like deaf chicken actually has some good pace himself uh, unreal gamer tag by the way 
can we go flat out through this left hander let's look at the throttle can we do it no we can't so we're not quite brave enough just yet although i think it will be a quite a comfortable flat out gaining a lot of time in the braking zone here looks like we're going to set another fastest lap of the races ocd red there's mbsfn what do we do we pip that by quite a bit by about half a second or six tenths or so no drs in these conditions so it's actually going to be very hard to overtake but you can see again still got an abundance of the ers to use are we going to be a bit braver coming up through here you really want to be as tight as you can eh? we were definitely definitely braver going up through here so that was a pretty nice corner you can see we gained quite a bit of time on that occasion on the car in front let's see what this first sector is going to be it's only five thousandths down so it's actually slightly slower he's using a little bit more of the curves on this occasion going through to really want to attack this corner and you can see we are closing on the leader quite quickly so there is still a chance of the podium because death chicken has a two second penalty if we can get past him then we might be able to do something on the leader you can see i think it's that mercedes battling for the lead here is holding a few cards up so taking this very nicely clipping that curb but wasn't punished on that occasion now let's see if we can do a better sequence of cores you can see my steering wheel is green that means i am up on this delta got to be very careful of this curb as jeff is telling me it's clear for some reason maybe it's just there was a yellow flag or something but you can see we are two temps up now really do not want to go on that curb and you can see the amount of time we have gained especially on mbsfn a lot of time now and i know he's a very competent driver in these conditions still not quite brave enough going through into here yeah just need to really just be braver as <laughs> simple as that going through to now try and open up the corner try to get a good exit come over here and still have 80 percent of the crs what's the lap time gonna be it's a 52.3 now so that's another fastest up of the race let's see if we can try and get ahead actually overtake someone but it's going to be very difficult in these conditions as ocd red actually has a time penalty as well so as it looks like the game has decided that the slap bus has won someone has gone off i'm not quite sure if that was for a position might have been ocd red i think but we're not going to get ahead of the deaf chicken at the end of the straight attempt down on our fastest lap but let's see if we can do anything in this midfield section this is where we seem to be at our absolute strongest so get some very good traction coming off here we are set for a podium at this stage but i really wanted to try and overtake someone in these conditions so tracking a wide sweeping line trying to get a better exit wasn't fully optimal going through into here now let's see what we could do really taking that very very nicely you can't quite tell if anyone is running low or the ERS because the red light is always flashing but try to be as close as you can to try and get a good exit going into this final chicane so you can see we've still got 90 percent of the ERS, so you can just use it pretty much unlimited in these wet conditions so he goes slightly wide we're using all of our overtake now let's see if we can do anything going into this final chicane you can see we're actually gaining very very quickly him do we do this nicer yes we do we do it much much nicer using the overtake are we gonna go for a move round the outside are we gonna try and hold this round the outside yes we do he gives us the racing room we get that move done and we have managed to no we haven't he's actually just goes back do we get back on the line i think we didn't actually although it looked like we did the delta says otherwise but we managed to recover back to p3 after that turn one car crash we managed to come back from that and that's the way i say you deal with lobbies especially when things don't go your way in some moments i really hope you enjoyed that thank you so much for the support on the channel and i will catch you very very soon peace